Hey guys, this is Dr. Jason Tarotti, a West New York chiropractor, and I'm just in my home, my kitchen. Just wanted to uh, just do a quick video uh, just to talk to you about uh, procrastination uh, versus productivity. You know, a lot of my patients, uh, including myself, suffer with uh, productivity problems and procrastination, and I hate hearing about these stories because some of these people, you know, they, they, it, it, really, it really stops them from progressing. And so I want to give you some tips real quick um, that I've used to help me beat procrastination in my life. But yet, I still procrastinate sometimes, believe me. You know, one extremely valuable piece of uh, advice that was given to me by a Navy SEAL one time. He was a Navy SEAL commander, and most recently, uh, he told me the simple task of making his bed at the very first thing in the morning truly helped him out, even before he left the bedroom. You see, the SEAL commander was, um, he said to me, when he was training, the very first thing that he did was uh, make his bed to perfection every single morning. And to me, it just seemed like a crazy task. Uh, but he said that it actually helped him to be a better soldier and to be a better fighter. And of course, he probably didn't like doing it in the beginning, but he got used to doing it so much and accomplishing the task to total perfection that it actually made him more motivated throughout the day. You know, but time has, and, and time has actually proven that the simple task of just making your bed is actually a very, very wise step. And the reason why it's, it's very, very smart is so that after many years of um, making his bed to perfection, the Navy SEAL, he realized that it was the first task of his day. And by completing that task to perfection, he successfully started his day with a win and with a task completed and therefore having that sense of, winning and completing, he was able to move on to, you know, other tasks to completion. And he's able to go on to more larger tasks, task after task, and you could do the exact same thing. So now what do you think I do, right? You know, I'm lazy, but I do make my bed in the morning, and I make my bed to completion every single day, and I also have like a list of things that I want to accomplish that I jot down the night before on a yellow pad or in my planner book that I want to get done uh, the next day. And it really gives me a better sense of completion, you know, going, going, you know, from this point on. And of course, I try to do the easiest tasks first. You know, I also try to put things in my calendar, very specific things in my calendar that I can do on a daily basis. Because if I just put, because if I put it in my calendar, I know I'll get it done. And if I don't put it in my calendar, well, then that sucker is not going to happen. You know, things don't happen randomly, you know, or whenever I feel like doing it, it just won't get done. Right? So I try to take the time to schedule things and try to make a success list, uh, not just a to-do list. And I try to start with a very simple task like making my bed every single morning to perfection. And if you find that this, you know, if you try doing something like this, I challenge you, do something like this. And if you find that it's not helping you out and getting closer to your goals, well, then maybe you just might want to reassess your goals because maybe what you're doing may not be in line with your goals. So look, I just want to highly encourage you to write down most of your goals throughout the day. Put them someplace where you actually see them. Just don't keep them on a piece of paper. That's my phone going off. Um, and take a look at them every single day and put them someplace inside your car or on your phone or in a yellow notepad. I know that every single morning when I go out and I walk my dog, you probably see me do that, I, I, and I'm reciting affirmations. I try to remind myself consciously so and subconsciously uh, what my goals are. So if something comes up throughout the course of the day that's you know, not in line with my goals, I just make a correction, I readjust it, or I make a higher choice, right? So let me just tell you, if you don't make those goals, if you don't have goals in front of you, right, which a lot of people don't, you know, you're not going to be striving towards anything. And trust me, procrastination will overcome you if you do this, because procrastination is the enemy of goals. And because if you're not driving towards something, then you're probably driving towards nothing, right? And when you drive towards something, it's going to give you a higher purpose, right? It's going to give you a sense of a higher purpose. And once you hit those goals, right, then it's time to don't get depressed, but which some people do, right? But it's, and when you hit those goals, that's when it's time to just restate more goals, you know, try to go for more of the impossible, right? Because the impossible uh, always becomes possible through time and through committing to doing something, right? Because you're only going to fail when you decide that you fail. Right, so keep striving towards those goals. Try to fight procrastination, and um, and that's about it. Right, guys. So I'll talk to you soon. This is Dr. Jason Throtty, Western Chiropractor. Peace.